Hey there, Aries. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of um, December 18th. This week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what we have going on for you this week. Yeah, Four of Diamonds comes up first, so uh, a lot of you could be focused on the home or focused on things around the home at this time. And uh, it's a good card for travel as well. Uh, normally, I would say that uh, you don't have any other travel cards here. So normally, I would say this is usually only a good travel card um, if you have other travel cards here. However, I do feel like some of you could be traveling at this time. And it's also a great card for making money and for experiencing more commitments in money as well. So that can represent things like raises, uh, promotions, or it could represent you committing to work and uh, making more money that way. Uh, even if you're retired, this can represent more money coming into the home through a gift or uh, through selling something or something like that. Next, you have the Seven of Spades. Internal fears that do not exist. Um, I would say that probably Saturn affecting Aries this week. I think Saturn is squaring uh, Aries this week, if I'm not mistaken, or it's doing something uh, to you. I'm pretty sure, just um, thinking off the top of my head here. Um, don't quote me on that, but uh, I'm pretty sure that you are dealing with Saturn. It could bring up some uh, quick little fears, I think, for you. You know what? I'm just going to... We're going to take a quick peek at exactly what will be happening here. And through the power of television, you won't even realize that time has passed, right? Um, hold on one second. Yeah, so I was right. Saturn is uh, squaring you this week. And so I think that you should be careful of your fears and things that you worry about. I just feel like with this energy, you, like your feelings can really dictate a lot, I feel like, this week. Even though Saturn doesn't really necessarily have to do with our feelings, I just feel like, uh, I feel, I feel like all these feelings and things are, could be uh, messing around with you at this time. So uh, try to keep it positive. Next, you have the, the uh, Nine of Diamonds. Uh, this card can represent transformation and uh, some sort of uh, death. Like It's kind of like the death card in the Tarot. And it represents just transforming past obstacles, uh, transform, seeing a transformation in your life. Could represent, again, a raise. Um, it, again, because a transformation could be you raising up. It could be you going to a new level. It could be more money through that. It could be a change in your business. And it could just be some sort of uh, jump in a lot of ways. I think that I've been, you know, just getting a lot of that. I think a lot of people are going to be breaking resistance at the end of this year. Um, I was meditating on this the other day, and I have no clue what it means. I, I had no clue what it meant at the time. But I think it's like, you know, people have been experiencing the same level of whatever uh, for quite some time. And I feel like people are going to be breaking through that level towards the end of the year here. So I do feel like you could be uh, experiencing that type of change uh, as well, which could be very nice for you. Next, you have the Eight Hearts, a card of gifts from the universe. I also feel like you should dream big this week. I think this week, uh, this card, it can sometimes represent fantasies, and that's kind of what I'm feeling for you this week. And But these are uh, positive fantasies. This represents like fantasies that become reality, turning something that is a fantasy or a dream into a reality. So I think you should focus on that this week, on turning something uh, into a, a reality. I'm going to do a video at the end of this month, towards the end of this month more, uh, when the en energy becomes more relevant. But, um, you know, I've just been thinking, I think after this retrograde, that, you know, kind of like what I feel is that there needs to be this like initial push from us. You know, I think that if we want things to happen at the end of the retrograde, we need to kind of like create this like initial amount of, of momentum towards the things that we want in life. And um, I, I think that it's really important. It's been a message that I've been getting. So I think that really, um, you know, you could be starting to like plan how, how you are going to be able to live your dreams at this time. And you could be getting ready to kind of make that happen. And finally, you have the Queen of Hearts, a card of the mother. So some of you could be dealing with your mother this week. That could be very important, but it can also be the card of a birth of something new. And again, I think if any of you are birthing new ideas, I think it's more of like a plan. You're p planning on how you're going to kind of like take off after the retrograde and make things happen. So I really like to see that for you as well. But it looks like a great week. So thank you for watching and enjoy your week.